All right, everyone, welcome back to another Mod Bros video. We're doing the takedown today. Um, I personally like it a lot more than its blue team counterpart, the Charger, because, I don't know, in my opinion, the Charger is just a worse Zeus. Um, takedown, it's not my favorite rival blaster. I think there's cool things about it, though. Um, I like how it has, it's basically a rough cut, but for rivals, but it's not a shotgun. It's, it's just a Kronos, but a little longer. Oh, yeah. I don't, I haven't looked at the internals, but how similar are they to a Kronos? Is, is it the same? hundred <laughs> percent. Yeah. Yeah. Like, well, not, not a hundred, but like, yeah. It's a Kronos, the, the catch and plunder but a little system. longer, with a worse handle, but it has a cool pump. Yeah, this handle, this handle just feels really like blocky, and like they they tried to round it and everything, but it still feels just like you're holding like a piece of wood. Mm -hmm. Which, I mean, like it's it's fine. It's not bad per se, but it's just it feels weird and gross compared to a Kronos. Um, it holds more shots than a Kronos. It holds eight instead of the normal five so three or two more um but uh we were croning it earlier and it was hitting like 110 mm -hmm. which is really good for a rival blaster the knockout hit 100 for me uh chronos last time i checked hit high 70s high 80s um but I don't really have any plans for it, but I would like to, at some point, make it sort of like my Kronos. Um, I gave it a pump grip, and I made it feed from a hopper, and sort of what I'm going to do with this, but I won't have to give it pump arms or anything, because it already has a built-in pump, which is pretty easy. That was one of the harder parts of the build, getting everything to line up, and epoxying everything together. But... I think Jacob wants to compare it to something else as well. So I'm gonna let him do that. Not really. I just mostly wanted to bring in the Atlas because this is like a true shotgun. And I think this is personally better than the takedown. I think the takedown's fine. I, just, I don't like it though. But the issue that I have with it is it's too it's way too big to be a secondary for one. And it also just feels weird to be a primary. Whereas like with Atlas, it's not very much smaller. The handle is nowhere near as comfy since it's this weird angle and blocky do or whatever. Whereas the Atlas handle is real comfy and fits nicely aside from the safety being in a really weird spot. The Atlas handle feels really nice in the hand and everything like that. And then the pump grip on the Atlas is also really good. I love that you can top load the Atlas through the jam door when you have the breech closed. Big fan of being able to reload the mag when the breech is closed. We need more of those. Yeah. <laughs> Quick 16, speed load 6, this. That's it. Yeah, I can't think of any others. Like, actual, like, mag, not, like, cylinder fed or anything. But, so, yeah, this is essentially a chrono since you have to open the breach in order to reload it. And it's not as moddable as a chrono, in my opinion. You guys have seen my chronos plenty of, plenty of times before, how I made it take mags, whereas this would not be able to take a mag through the bottom because of the pump grip. And it's essentially just a dart zone, titanium, or I believe the first one was called like a powerball. Mm -hmm. Yeah? Yeah, I think that sounds right. I think so, yeah. But it's essentially that. And like, it looks better than the titanium and the powerball. But from what I've held, the titanium is actually pretty comfy. Like the handle is really nice. It's a little bit more of an upright angle instead of this weird, this weird one. And then the pump grip is also really nice. And it's already comes pre-hoppered so that you don't have to open the breach every time you want to reload it. And you can run mags through the top. Big fan of that. Not big fan of takedown. <laughs> yeah. Take away my atlas. It's sort of like the weird thing with the rival line that they have the Jupiter, which is modeled after like a rifle. They have the knockout, which is supposed to be a small handgun of some sort. And then you have to take the, the takedown, which is modeled after a shotgun. Um, 
but I just wish it actually was a shotgun. That exact shotgun slipping my mind. Mossberg. It's something or other. You, it's, said, you said it earlier, I can't remember. What, like 590 or something? Maybe. It's... <laughs> Wait, no, I think the Mossberg 590 is old siege. It has like an actual <laughs> name. It's like, it's considered like a firearm because it's not a shotgun and it's not like, it's in this weird in-between category. Oh, nice. And that's what this is modeled after. <laughs> and ever so fit. It's in this weird in-between category where it's not really a primary, but it's not really a secondary either. Yeah. I would run this as a primary, not for outdoor wars or anything competitive, because it's just not good enough to be that. I'd run it at nerfed, because eight shots, you can top load it, it's small and compact, and it's getting 110 FPS. Um, and you'd probably be able to stomp with that. But I don't really have anything else to say about the takedown uh down in the comments below say if you liked it you you hate it you're indifferent about it um i'd give this i don't know seven out of ten it's average yeah i'd say closer to average of five out of ten five out of ten it's not fine. average that's a failure you think this is a failure of a blaster yes <laughs> I don't see a place for it anywhere in my mind. Like, I wouldn't use it in stock wars. I wouldn't use it in modified wars. It's just kind of gross. <laughs> it's not a primary. It's not like it's like it's not a secondary. It doesn't really do anything like specifically cool or versatile or anything. But if you have a sling mount here. Mm -hmm. Is that the only one? It's just a one point sling, I think. Right there? I know it's a weird <laughs> place, but... <laughs> I mean, I guess it, it'll hold nicely, but... I don't know, I would assume it would be, like, on the butt of the handle. Or further up. Yeah, or, like, here, where yeah. the rough cut has it. Mm -hmm. Which is about the rough cut down, but yeah, the rough cut has it right there, which is, like, you know, kind of the same, but... Yeah. I don't know, the takedown is just a weird thing in my mind where it doesn't... It's not good for anything. You can't make it a chrono mag. You, your only option is to really upgrade the spring and make it hopper fed. Mm -hmm. And really, and then like I say, do a handle replacement. You could. But that's just personal use, so you could actually get like a stock attachment piece. I don't know. But that, that is kind of already better because this is more compact. Uh, what else were we hearing? It's more compact. It, I don't know, has a better handle. Oh yeah, better handle. And. I don't know. I don't know if this has happened to anyone else besides me and Jacob, but our Kronos is love to break here and on the two screw ports on the sides. And we asked about it a long time ago when it was first happening. Everyone's like, man, that's weird. <laughs> man, how weird. Never it it breaks happen. just like that. But I think that's it for the takedown video. Um, leave a like if you like this video. Um, if you haven't subscribed, hit that bell icon for more videos coming out each week. We have a Patreon and an Etsy now at Patreon slash Mod Bros and Etsy slash Mod Bros. We are selling the, um, HMI-R kit along with some other stuff and more stuff coming out soon. So go check that out and we'll see you guys in the next video. Bye.